Hello, welcome back to uh, uh, Little Goody Two Shoes. We're picking up from from where we left off. I fixed the audio. This should be low enough. You can hear my 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 terrible voiceover even better. I don't exactly remember what we were doing. Okay, so figure. Ah, okay. Um, story event. Find the source of the noise. Or something. Puppy. It's you. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, please spare me, Elise. Puppy. What in the world? What in the Lord's name are you doing here, Miffy? Uh, I w I was out on a stroll. I swear. I swear on my auntie's name. And... And you just happen to hide behind my house? I see. Who doesn't? You sneak up... You sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? Huh? What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. Eek. It's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I'd Not best... Wait. I saw her. That girl you're housing, Elise. You saw nothing, Molly. She's... she's not from around here. Even I can tell. You were having supper together and everything, Elise. You keep your mouth shut, maybe. M maybe? Or I'll... Well, why, why don't you share some of that bread you've got, Elise? I don't know, I've, she feels more like a stoner than whatever I'm doing. <laughs> so, wait, wait, let's... Mike, keep, keep quiet. If I... If you... I might keep quiet if you do. All right. Goodness sake. Uh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. A pot of beeswax ornament to give her... Uh, food items... I only got one. Oh, can I give her a pretzel or is that more valuable? If I hear as much as a word about this, Molly. Oh, boy, oh, boy. oh yeah, well. Golly, Elise. Why don't you bring me a pretzel tomorrow? Out with it! Mouth shut, or I'll throw you in the well. Suspicion down. Oh, we got like a witch. Okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. And don't come back, or else. For goodness sake! This is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, I. Is she gone? This could be bad, Rosemarine. Uh, I'm sorry. I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Uh. Don't you start fretting now, too. Do you think she'll tell anyone? Mm. If she. Uh, ah. If she does, we could be in trouble, I know. I'm sorry, I... It's Rose and Marine. Oh, shush. I'm heading back inside. Uh, yes. So, she's been mispronouncing her name the whole time? <laughs> Muffy's spying on you. Fulfill her daily request for food items to keep her from snitching and raising suspicion. Oh, yeah, she's definitely... Uh, avoid suspicion. Mind what you say and do to your... Mind what you say and do your best to avoid... Ra uh, your best to avoid... Avoid raising suspicion towards Elise. Or bear the consequences. Go to bed. Elise? I'm heading off to bed, Rosamarine. I can spend the night in the granary if you'd like. No... I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. I'll meet you upstairs. Uh, alright. What's that do? When was the last time I even used these, I wonder? I've been using the cauldron for everything these days. Okay.
That's no, that's my room. Uh, it's been a long time since I've gone to Granny Hall's room. There's nothing to see. It's, this thing's still not working, is it? I ought to have a word with Mr. Wilhelm sometime soon, I suppose. The clock's hands, the clock's hands grate dutifully, du dutifully through time, struggling to turn with each passing second. All right. So much for Saint Vol Volpurga's protection. Ought to have thrown you out along. Palms join in prayer. The wooden statue of Saint Valperga prints protection of faithful. Ew. Mm. You left that gold in the granary, I'm hoping. Uh, of course. <laughs> I left the door ajar so he can go out and about if he wants. What makes you think what makes you think he'll stay put? <laughs> Why, the bed I made him, of course. You ought to see it, Elise. <laughs> I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed, Rosa Marine. <laughs> you, up you go. You need to make your bed too. <laughs> You'll make do, I'm certain. It's perfect. <laughs> I'll get you a blanket too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Why not? <laughs> You're not a goat, Rosa Marine. Ah, <laughs> uh, I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket. For goodness sake. I don't see what's so funny. Please. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. Shush it, you. Yeah, she, she, Elise calls her Rosa Marine, but her name is Rosen Marine. I, I think that's. I think I'm correct about that. Oh, shush. Yeah, Rosen Marine. I'll be glad to take the blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches too, and the candle. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. It's bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night, Ro Rosa Marine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rosen Marine. Yeah. Good night, Elise. Sleepy weeby. Uh. For goodness sake. What am I getting myself into? First I agreed to house Rosamarine. Now Miffy's caught wind of it too. I'd best make sense of all this by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far away from here. A place where I'd never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace. Somewhere. Where I can live the life I deserve. Well, uh, don't we all? I don't know what I would do with a castle. I don't need 30 rooms. I mean, I could have one for... One for computer. Yeah, I think I only need two rooms. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a castle. Where, where am I? What is, is this a dream? <gasps> oh, hello. It's locked. It seems. Oh, and I bet there's something nice inside, too. Rebirth. Golden girl. That's what I wished for long, long ago. You wanted to be reborn? Somewhere safe. Somewhere far, far away. I went through all of the trials, uh, trials gathered all of his gifts. And? Indeed, I was reborn. My wish was granted. Yet. Yet? To think I would end up like this. Wait. What was that? 
grapes. Stay sane. Keep Elise from feeling frightened with sanity healing items or she might go mad. Okay, what are sanity healing items? Is that grapes? Uh, each glistening grape clings to its stem, coming together in a heavy plump. It's got a heart and a bread. Uh, Alright. An old rusted lantern covered in grime. Its natural dark color now faded into rusted hues. An emerald brooch given to Elise by her grandmother on her deathbed. What's that do? Oh, no, no, no. I don't wanna. Uh, tin box, worn or brittle, the broom's ragged, something. A prayer directed at St. Wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the that's the, uh, the thing we found at the church. I don't see a, a sanity anything. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm a prince. I feel like I'm in a princess bedroom. If only I could live here. Just like I've always dreamed. Alrighty then. There are, uh, there are all sorts of dangers lurking in the shadows. Use healing items to preserve and survive. Okay. Wait, did. Mm. Silver key. I wonder if that goes to the door. Uh, the item in your inventory can affect, can have effects on the environment. Try using. All right. I'm locked in here, I suppose. Can't say I minded much, if I'm honest. All right, and then I can use the the key. Doesn't seem to be working, huh? This is marble, I suppose. Topped with a shiny slab of marble, the round table stands immaculate. What about this one? I'm pretty certain this is velvet. Upholstered in luxurious red velvet, the broad sofa rests by a marble center table. I don't know where... Where does the key go? It's so bright, I can hardly see. Blind... Blindingly warm light pierces the window's glass panes, cradling the room in a welcoming glow. Alright, still not. Uh, oh, what what I would give to sleep here every night. A spacious bed stands in a corner, its silky sheets protected by a counterpane embroid embroidered in gold thread. Uh... Okay, the key didn't work. I'm locked in here, I suppose. Can't say I minded much. Okay. What about... I mean, I could try it again? Maybe if I try something else. Okay. Let's try the brooch. Nope. The note? There's something written on here. Pad Volborga, sanctified be thy name. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is... Yeah, this is the... Okay. Lies in the crossroads. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the thing we were gonna do later. Seem like this is what I should be using here. All right, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> uh, I forgot. Got a chest, and we got a key. There you go. Let's see. Oh goodness! So many dresses. Another key. I wonder what it's for. Door. Golden key. Golden key for door. Yes. Such a long corridor. It truly feels as though it's, I'm inside a palace. Alright. Does the palace have secret? 
No. A blindingly warm light pierces the window's glass pane, cradling, cradling the room in welcoming glow. Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a serpent wearing a golden crown. Its name plates reads, reads A Z I E T or L? Alright. Such a strange statue. The marble statue of a crow wearing a golden crown. Its name plate reads Re Rai Re Re. I can't see anything. Blending crimson. Okay, it's, 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 it's. Yes. <laughs> no, not not that. That. Yes, please. Thank you. I have a bad feeling about this. Where am I? What is this? What in the Lord's name is this place? What are those things? What things? Don't forget to turn on your lantern and keep an eye out. Lantern is on. Oh my god! What the? What the? Oh my god! Oh my god! Leave me alone! Uh, it's gone. Uh, the door is completely gone. All right. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Ow! <laughs> oh. Phantasm key. I need a. Oh. Oh, got a log. Oh, how nice. It's... It's a key. This is what would get me out of here, I'm certain. Good. Uh, for now, we need a lantern. Yes, please. Maybe if I try something else. But... Darkness. What's that? I don't know how to escape these things. Another key. It's a key. This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. Well, we got two of the same. It's no wonder they're wilted. Being left in such an awful room, a bunch of purple flowers sag lazily over their bed, over the vase, over the base. It's jammed. I could pry it open, but. Yes. Oh, all right. I was expecting uh, <laughs> something. It's a key. Such a big sofa. If only upholstered in luxurious blue velvet. The bra. Right. Right. Don't hit me. Ah, oh, that's another one. Oh, that's another one. Four keyholes. Uh, what means there are four keys, I wager. You are so smart, Elise. I got three. <sighs> Doesn't seem to be working, huh? Alright, I'm missing one from down here, I think. Oof, that was... No. I already got that one. Uh, 
these are all in different language. All in a different language. I can't make sense of any of these titles. Yep. Ah, no. Where is... Got that one. Got that one. Oh, it's probably... It's in the upper left corner, then. Sorry. Sorry. Ow. Oh, no. Ow. I think I need to eat something. How do I... Ah, okay. Pot of beeswax ornament. It makes... It gives off the smell of fresh lavender and thyme. It's plus two health. Uh, what's you what what's you do? Oh bandages. Yeah I just heal. <laughs> it's jammed right open. What do we get? Another note? What's this? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold. Bathed glory. Alright. That does not help me at all. Do you realize who you're giving this puzzle to? What you desire... Uh... Yeah. Wait, how the hell did I... Desire. Uh, what do I desire? Four keyholes, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Can I? The key to one's dream is found within oneself. As for yours, it's in this very room, the core of your innermost desire. It's not knowledge you seek, but gold-bathed glory. So I'm guessing a bathtub? Gold-bathed? Or maybe I have to get one of those floating candles things? How do I... How do, how do I... So, a gold... <sighs> but I was hidden! <laughs> oh no! Ooh, ah, God damn it! God damn it! for a bathtub because that's the only thing that I can think of Wait a minute. there's something on the back of the shelf 
I have to reach out my arm to get it, but... Reach for it. This is... <laughs> a key! It's a key! This is what will get me out of here, I'm certain. I mean, it's got gold. Alright, alright, alright. Within one shelf. A shelf. Alright. Four keyholes. That means there are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This is it! It worked! And now we're just stuck in a void? What is this? Where am I? I must be dreaming. Hello. Can I move? Oh, okay. Hey, that's the... Uh... Uh, the thing... How far left can I go? I don't know. I don't think I'm moving. <laughs> okay. Did you do anything? No, okay. Do I like... Now, hurry now! We're late for his banquet. What are you? Hurry, hurry! <laughs> All right, I'll bite. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. What do we got? We got pumpkin, pumpkin bat. And other weird stuff. What the hell? That was a weird ass dream, Elise. <laughs> a dream? Uh... That left me feeling a little bit queasy. Rosemary? It wasn't a dream, that was a hallucination. Rosemary, are you there? She's most likely still asleep anyway. Mm. No, point. no point in waking her this early, I suppose. I'll bet you she's downstairs cooking. Got some type of blessing. Yeah. Grants protection to the faithful. Oh, I don't know if I'm faithful. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Can I do anything? Did it always look like this? Oh, uh, does it change? Okay, it's crying now. I'll, I won't remember what it looked like. Not a chance. I knew it. Good morning, Elise. I, I would have got a head start on breakfast if I knew you'd be waking up this early. Since when have you been up? Oh, I always, I'm always up and about before daybreak. I can't sleep in if I try. I didn't notice you coming down from the attic. I brought the ladder with me. I brought the ladder with me last night so I wouldn't wake you. 
Wait, I brought the ladder with me last night. Brought the ladder with... I don't get it. And the hatch doesn't squeak if you do it slowly, right? I took my shoes off and used the ladder to shut it back up. Easy. You're smarter than you look, huh? I look as smart as I am, Elise. Is that so? Anyhow, I'm heading up, heading up to the garden. The garden? You mean the field just outside? Is it that obvious that I haven't touched it in years? <laughs> Been working like a dog since Granny Hall passed, but... Now I have you to fret about, too. I can't sit on my hands forever, can I? What? You'd rather starve? Join me as a maid of all work, perhaps. <laughs> you truly are kind, aren't you? Shush it, you? Oh, shush. I'm heading out to see what I can do about the garden. I'll call you in for breakfast in a moment, then. Tend to the backyard. What? What I find? <gasps> Bread. Do I need it? No. Alright. Garden! Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, for goodness sake. I've neglected it for so long. It'll be impossible to dig. <laughs> Anyhow, this is not the time to loiter about. What is this? What's this? A pair of shoes? How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. Not really look like a farming attire. <laughs> and they fit me like a glove, too. These shoes. <laughs> it's as though they were made for me. All of Kieferberg needs to hear about this. No, garden first. No! You irresponsible brat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this thankless struggle. No more being bossed around. <laughs> I think she's losing her mind. <laughs> Is this what all girls feel like when they get new shoes? <laughs> <laughs> On your feet, Elise. Explain yourself. Oh, shush it! What is there to explain, father? Could you not hear yourself, lass? Parading into St. Walpurg's place of worship, howling and shouting like a... Please, old Jochen. Words of egotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk. I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lassie. You old geezer! Why you? A witch! A witch of old holy skin! I am not a witch, Oh, you... let's... Oh, listen here, you old wretch. That's enough! 
I've heard enough. Old Johan has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet, his concerns weigh heavy, Elise. Oh, I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, father. Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. What does any of this have to do with sin, father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery, yet. <sighs> Enough, Felice. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is sin in, in, sin in and of itself. Mm. I'm not going anywhere. Whatever I do, I meet, I met with nothing but disdain from you people. Reconsider, Elise. Out with it. You reconsider. I have nothing to repent for. I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, girl. You old and you old Johan. You ought to think about why you disrespect. You ought to think about why you disrespect me so. She's clearly not herself, folks. She's bewitched. Is that so? Oh, you can be certain of it. You old, wary well, Elise. This is how you'd like it. If this is how you'd like it. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Without a shadow of a doubt, lass. <laughs> At last, he's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? You're favored by him, Elise. Rightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe, inside out. And those shoes... My shoes! Those very shoes, Elise, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. Get away from... Oh! <laughs> Get away from me! Yours is his heritage, his flesh, his ardor. Don't you understand, Elise? What in the Lord's name? How do you know my name? His blessing. His blessings. His will. He himself is riding in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, you old hag? You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say, and he will make all your wishes come true. What is this? My wishes, you say? Why, yes. Opulence, splendor, fortune. Your deepest desires is unlike any other, Elise. I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me, what is it you most desire? Me? Speak it, Elise. What I most desire, that's fortune. Fortunate you are, Elise. Okie dokie. Deep in this woodland there is a patron saint. Whose blissful words bestow a blessing upon the faithful. All that's requested in return are three gifts made from the testaments to one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all of these in hand, and your wish shall be granted. A wound, carrier of life. Your basket is to hold all that is sacred. Wait, you want me to birth him a child? <laughs> the tender flesh of earthly... The tender flesh of earthly desire. The sweetest nectar, to be drunk in earnest. You are to arrive in good company, the object of your affections. You are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying out, carrying all three gifts.
Voice your innermost desire. Surrender yourself wholly to his grace. He's got a lot of... Uh, what's it called? A lot of... Uh, the thing, when you... Uh, the... the uh, what's it called? Requirements. <laughs> and the four... And the fortune you shall attain. For such is his blessing and such is your desire. Alright. It's not creepy at all. Elise? Oh, hey, Lep. Elise, are you listening? Huh? Where did she go? Elise. Oh, are you alright, Elise? Where did that old hat go? Elise? What's the matter with you? Lepkuhen. Lepkuhen. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Lep. It's best we let her rest a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jakob. I'm all right. I I felt a little dizzy at all. Mm. I can bring some water, Elise. <laughs> As for me, I'll be in the church waiting to have a word with you. Mm. Don't you start, Leb. Oh, I've already started. <laughs> I guess that's about <laughs> that's about uh, my argument with father. <laughs> uh. My, now you've done it, Elise. For goodness sake. Daytime! Alright. I think I progressed quite far. Uh, this, this just keeps getting uh, more interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm really curious about what's what's going on, but I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you all for watching, and thank you for checking out my channel, and I hope to see you again. Hulu.